So we're at the end of week three. Everything's been pretty much the same. So upper body, floor press, lower body, pin pulls. Right now I'm at the knee for my pin pull, uh, which like every week, obviously it's getting harder and harder because I get to drop the pins down a little bit lower and then I get to bump up my weight as well. Floor press, floor press is floor press, whatever. Um, but yeah, really nothing new to report this week. I got to cycle on the bicycle, obviously. <laughs> I got to start cycling um, with my PT and it felt really good. I, I tried cycling, I tried the assault bike, I think like six days after my surgery and I, that was 100% a mistake. So now I can actually cycle and I'm still fairly high but I'm getting really good rotation through my knee. I don't have to wear my brace through it. It doesn't hurt, like there's no stiffness. It's, it's pretty fluid. So. My therapist said that I can start cycling daily. So we'll see, that'll be something cool to be able to do just for like 20 minutes while I'm watching practice and stuff like that. But yeah, everything's going really well. I really, this is gonna be a really short intro because um, it's just one of those weeks where there's not a whole lot different, you know? It's just, it's fairly similar last week. I just got to lift a little heavier um, and then obviously add in the cycling, but it's gonna be a process. Not in any pain, sleeping really well, pretty happy, like all things considered. When I injured my foot last year, like I was so depressed the entire time, literally the entire time, like every day, every day I would try to do something and I just, I either couldn't do it or I was in a substantial amount of pain. This is even six, seven, eight months after I did the, after I hurt my foot. And I just remember like feeling so fucking down for the entire time and so, this one, like we're only three weeks in, but I really haven't had that many down days considering. So this is a cakewalk compared to that. You know, that recovery was rough. This recovery is pretty easy. Like I could walk. I remember last time I couldn't even, I couldn't walk. I was on crutches for so long. I could walk, um, I could drive, like, yeah, I'm on my own this time, but I actually like it, you know? Like I've been able to really focus on what I'm doing and what I need to do. I really like get my head straight. It's been a really good opportunity for me to sit down and kind of plan out the next few years, like what I want to achieve, where I see myself going, what I want to do beyond fighting, um, and then really try to put some energy into getting some external forms of revenue, trying to jump into new industries, try to learn new things. I'm prioritizing reading a lot more. Um, I've set some new morning rituals now instead of just getting on social media straight away. I'm sitting down, like I'm making my green shake. I bought myself a blender. Who the fuck am I? I bought myself a blender. Now I make a green shake with collagen. I'm also super paranoid about getting old right now. So making my green shake with collagen, with all my, vi like my vital greens from Run Everything Labs. Um, creatine in it because I'm trying to keep some muscle mass and now I sit down and read for 30 minutes before I do anything else. I've been getting up a little bit earlier, trying to structure my day a bit better, starting my day the right way, prioritizing myself, my mental health and my physical health and yeah everything's good. I'm gonna get back into doing some cardio soon, you know, once once I can walk properly, once hopefully my brace gets unlocked next week. So once that happens, I think I'll be a little more motivated to come in here and do some more cardio, do something extra, maybe do some extra weight sessions. But honestly, like the most difficult part of this injury is like, I love the classes that I do at CSA so fucking much that it is genuinely really, really difficult for me to come in here and just watch, you know? And I know, I know when you're injured, I know when you're out, watching is a very, very valuable tool to keep your brain working and try to keep the techniques fresh, but it's been fucking heartbreaking for me. So I haven't really been able to, but you know, I'm almost ready. When the dogs come back, I can set a better routine. I can set better structure and I will start coming back in and watching and, and writing things down and recording a little bit more, but it's telling, it's like, it's like the curtains are closing, right? Like, get the fuck off the stage. Anyway, end of week three, enjoy it. I'm still having fun. It's not that bad. Could always be worse.
Thank you.